turns around of its own free will, one hand in the hopper and the other in the sack. Lady step forward and the gents fall back. Down sitting on with his head all white, lonesome day and a lonesome night. Thought I heard some pretty gal say a court all night and a sleep next day. song I learned uh, many years ago from uh, a record that was put out featuring uh, Clarence Ashley and uh, the two guys who used to back him up Clint Howard and Fred Price and Doc Watson here's uh, old time music at Clarence Ashley's yeah it's called the uh, old man at at the mill talks about uh, grinding grinding something at the mill could be wheat could be uh, corn um, hope you enjoyed the tune what I'd like to do now is a little Bible reading about millstones so for those of you folks who do not want to hear a Bible reading are not interested in one now's the time for you to end the video I'll say adios thanks for watching for those of you who are hanging on, uh, probably the most famous reference in the Bible to millstones comes from uh, the book of Mark. This is uh, chapter 9, verse 36. This is Jesus. Uh, Talking to the folks around him, he took a little child and had him stand among them. Taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me, meaning God. And then further on in uh, verse 42, Jesus said, and if anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to be thrown into the sea with a large millstone tied around his neck. Uh, and these days we see an uh, awful lot of uh, people in the education system and in government who are worthy of that uh, that millstone award they are uh, they are telling kids that they should uh, change their gender they're offering uh, child mutilation and castration the most horrible things you could do to a little kid is being pushed nowadays by the transgender group, by the LGBT alphabet soup group. And uh, very sad. Sad for the people that are pushing it, and especially sad for the kids who get 
sucked into it. So Jesus gave a stern warning centuries ago. And uh, it still stands today. If people, if people were following Christ, they wouldn't even um, think of doing such horrible things to each other or to children. But kind of a kind of a sad situation going on today in North America. But at any rate, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tune and I hope you enjoyed the Bible reading and the stern warning in it. Uh, now comes the time for me to say God bless and we'll see you down the road.